Harvey is starting to retire now. Um, as I said, if you think this is slow, this is actually about the right speed. When you see these tanks moving around, this is the sort of speed they actually moved at uh, in reality. But, as I said earlier, it doesn't really matter because they're there to support the infantry. The thing you've got to remember about First World War tanks is they're not tanks in the modern sense. They're not fast-moving weapons of manoeuvre and exploitation. Um, they are just there to punch through the wire and to take out the machine guns. Later in the war, the British Army does start to come up uh, with other vehicles, things like the Whippet. That's a little bit faster. Um, don't get excited. It goes up from two to four miles an hour to roughly eight miles an hour. But the Whippet is used uh, fairly extensively in 1918, especially after the Battle of Amiens, when the enemy is uh, pretty well on the run. Um, we've got a whippet in the museum, um, the famous whippet, which was called Musical Box, broke through the enemy lines and roamed around for a good eight or nine hours till the fuel ran out, shooting up everything in sight. A7V is crawling back into a hole, the transport is passing us, and very shortly, Mark IV tank is going to move off with the infantry following behind. If you want to get a photograph of this, this is very much the sort of scene that you would have seen on the battlefield. Tank to the fore, infantry just behind.